People, your photos are here. The Mike Piazza photos are here. If you got one, come get it. Yeah, raise your hand. I'll come raise your you. hand. We'll get that straightened out. But thank you to Michael K., one of the great voices in all of baseball, and how lucky are Yankee fans that get to hear Michael K. every night call Yankee games. Now, Michael brings up a great point about Billy Martin. Billy might not have known that Michael was Italian, but he probably knew in some degree. He just had a, a sixth sense that Michael K. was Italian. That's why he took care of him. And the next award, and the next award winner, are kindred spirits in that way as well. It is very fitting that the Tommy Lasorda Award tonight goes to Mike Piazza. Tommy and Mike are always going to be connected. Tommy managed Mike when he first got to the major leagues as a young catcher for the Los Angeles Dodgers. But as Mike Piazza now becomes a manager himself, managing Team Italy for this year's World Baseball Classic, there could not be a better reason to honor Mike and our Italian team as they embark on that journey this March for the 2023 WBC. This honor isn't just for Mike, it's for the team, it's for the FIBS. There are several representatives here tonight as we have Andrea Marcone, John Perro Curti, Vincenzo Mignola, Marco Landi, John Marco Ferrone, Dan Bonanno, Kristen Orfia, and Vito Frischia here as well, representing Team Italy. But to introduce Mike, a Hall of Famer, one of the greatest New York Mets of all time, we bring up another Team Italy player, a former big leaguer and the head coach at Hofstra University. Please welcome Frank Catalanello. Thank you, Andy. Um, first, I want to congratulate all the award winners tonight. Um, some really awesome achievements and some really great people here. Um, I always love this night, this dinner, coming here, because I get to see a lot of people that I don't see all year long. Uh, but tonight it's extra special uh, to be able to present the Tommy Lasorda Award, which is the IABF's um, highest honor. Um, the Tommy Lasorda Award is given to people that bridge the culture between Italy and America through the game of baseball. Um, and I feel like there's no better time to honor the WBC Italian team and Mike Piazza uh, for the journey that they're about to embark on. Um, I was lucky enough to experience the World Baseball Classic, um, not only as a player, but also as a coach. And to be able to represent Italy and, and honor our heritage was truly a dream come true for myself. Um, obviously, I got to play and, and coach with, with Mike. Um, and I know firsthand that he lives and breathes the culture. Uh, and there's no better guy to, to manage this group of players. And, and I'm confident that this team will take his lead. Um, also, I must mention the leadership from, from FIBS. They have been huge friends and supporters of the IABF, uh, and, and, they, and we've built a strong partnership based on growing the game in Italy. So congratulations to Mike Piazza, Team Italy, and FIBS. Um, on the 2022 Tommy Lasorda Award. Um, Mike, can you please come up to accept the award and say a few words? Thank you, Frank. And, um, wow. Uh, I had a lot of very difficult at bats uh, at Shea, Yankee Stadium, State, and nothing's more difficult than having to speak in front of a bunch of Italian Americans with a bunch of empty wine bottles on the table. <laughs> so I'll be brief. Um, thank you all for coming tonight. Thank you for support of uh, the Italian American Baseball Foundation. Thank you for your support of Italian baseball. 
And thank you for your support of Italian American culture. Because Italian Americans, we have a culture. And I think it would not be, um, it would not be prudent to say that what we have done to contribute to the United States of America and build this great country and build these many buildings right across the river. Um, the passion and the fellowship and the love we have for God, for family, for country, for culture is something that we all carry today. And I think it's safe to say, and no disrespect, but I don't think the Irish are doing this tonight. I don't think the Germans are doing this tonight. I don't think the Greeks are doing this tonight. We all love them. They're all brothers of ours. But I think we have something unique here. And first off, I want to say thank Joe and Carmine for, for this incredible endeavor. Uh, because the only way we're going to grow the baseball worldwide in Europe, in Italy, is through the gold mine that is Italian American culture. We need to build bridges. We need this love. We need this passion. And speaking about Tommy and his relationship with my father, um, it's because of my father that probably I'm here today because I remember as a kid how proud he was of his heritage. He would say, I like that guy's Italian. I like that guy's Italian. I like that guy. I'm Italian. <laughs> so that is something for me that is so incredible. And I remember my dad as a kid, he took me to Sicily uh, when I was very young to connect with, reconnect with our family over there. We had a few Cucino cousins that are still there. And he said to me, hey Mike, do you know why there's no Jehovah Witnesses in, in Sicily? And I said, no, why dad? He goes, Sicilians don't like any witnesses. <laughs> and you know, <laughs> I'm sorry, cheap Italian American joke. And, and to continue, continue that, making fun of ourselves, I always laughed because I said, you know, my father used to get so upset when they would try to conflate, you know, Italian Americans with organized crime. And he would say, son, not every Italian is an organized crime. Some are in the witness protection program. <laughs> If you can't make fun of yourself, you can. I want to point out a special thank you to Andre Macron and Federazione Italiano Baseball Softball because they have had an incredible passion to reach out and build this bridge and understand what we can bring to them and what they are bringing to us. And it's not been it's not been easy. I mean, Vito is a kid who we reached out to, had an incredible uh, feeling of pride for his Italian heritage. He was incredible. And the one thing I have to say, we just did this incredible Missione Classic in Italy. You know, when I was, I'm second generation, I'm sure some of you are first generation, maybe second. The young, well, the point is, these kids today, I've never seen such an incredible pride and connection with their with their Italian heritage. Vito you know, is attributed to that. I mean, we were so impressed and we were so, I was incredibly impressed with the fact that they relate to being Italian. They love their heritage. They wanted to see their towns. They want to reach out and connect with their ancestry. They want to reach out and find out where their families are from. And this is a resource. And honestly, people ask me, you know, I moved to Italy a few years ago. And you know what's crazy? I saw something the other day in Italy I have never seen in my four years of living there. I actually saw a car being towed. <laughs> because if you know anything about Italy, you know Italians park anywhere they want. I've never seen anything like it. They park on your front lawn. And when you go, what are you doing? They go, oh, 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 oh. It's like, calm. I come. Take it easy. They're going to take it easy. One time I was taking, picking my kids up at Bologna Airport, and outside of Bologna Airport, there's a rotundo. And if you go into the airport to pick up and wait, you have to pay two euros. It's called, it's called Kiss and Fly. And on the other side, there's a free parking lot. Free. Gratis. Gratis in Italian means no pagare. Free. People are, where do you think people are parked? 
They're parked in the rotundo. They don't want to pay the two euro and they don't want to park in the free lot. And I went to go pick up my kids and I'm like, oh, uh, scusa, eh, bisogna prendere mi figlia, è tornata una vacanza. And they go, oh, oh, it's like calm. It's like, take it easy, take it easy. I'm like, why do you take it easy? You're parked in the red, you're parked in the airport. And the times are coming out with their bags. You know, and you see families walking out, and I'm like, I've, I've never seen this thing. And this is, it, it's incredible. Italians, Italians don't want to pay for parking. They just park wherever they want. So guess why, the only reason why I've ever seen an Italian car being towed. Why do you think that is? I'll give you one guess. A soccer game, a soccer game, or a soccer game. Parma was playing Modena, it's a derby, and the guy was parked two blocks from the stadium, so they got to get the car out of there. There's a soccer game going on. So that, and another thing about living in Italy, which is kind of crazy to me, is, of course, the siesta, right? Stores are closed from like 12 to 4 in the middle of the day. Like, oh, oh, oh. One time I went in to actually buy a car. Now, my family's in the car business. And my wife, you know, we had this car, we were renting it. Finally, we just went in, I want to buy it. I went in to buy a car, and the guy goes, whoa, we're on break. I was like, I'm going in to buy a freaking car. And the guy goes, whoa, maybe later. Maybe we'll let you buy a car later. We're having coffee here. I mean, I believe, believe me, this is true. It's a cultural shock. The point is, we love Italy. And my friend from Francesco, he's from on, he goes, you know, Mike, uh, the thing about Italy is you have to understand, uh, food and wine is out of petroleum. <laughs> That's why you people keep coming back, for the, and it is true. So um, I have to say thank you again to all of you. Thank you for supporting this cause. The only way we're gonna grow the game in Italy is because of Joe, Carmine, organizations like this, your passion, your love, Tom, Michael, all of your incredible emotion and belief in this cause. Because people say to me, you know, Mike, why are you doing this? And I say, sometimes we don't choose endeavors, they choose us. So they chose me. I love this because of the fact that the relationships we build, the bridges we build, the passion we have, and I, I'm not gonna make predictions because Tom, I you know, is a player. <laughs> I was very quiet. I didn't brag, I didn't talk smack, I didn't do any of that, but a little secret between all of us here, we're gonna have a very good team in the classic. And I believe, I believe and with the coaching staff we have, we have Blake Butera, two-time minor league, um, Coach of the Year. We have Chris Denorki here, double-A coach with the Rockies. And, um, you know, people say to me, Mike, why are you successful in business? Why are you successful? I said, because you know why? I'm not afraid to hire smarter people than you. These guys are smart, you know? I mean, I understand what I've done and what I've accomplished, but you can never do it alone. You have to have Chris, you have to have Blake, you have to have Gianmarco, you have to have all these people coming together. And I think the one thing going forward, being pragmatic and realistic, is we can grow this game. We can really reinstate baseball in Italy as a top tier sport. We're never going to compete with soccer, we get that. But guess what? We could be right behind it. There's nothing wrong with that. We have to be realistic, pragmatic, and with the emotion in this room and the support in this room, I believe. By the end of my lifetime, Italy will be a world power in baseball because of your love, because of your passion. And I wish, want to wish everyone a blessed Natale holiday season. God bless. Speriamo ci vediamo dopo. So, buonasera, grazie. Thank you.